up this way. Bye. I'm going to call this uh, video Too Many Chiefs, Not Enough Indians and I just want to give a bit of testimony of how the Lord Jesus Christ has emboldened my walk being a traumatised disassociate uh, down in my boots for the majority of my life and half of my uh, Christian walk I didn't realise how um, broken I was and shattered inside and praise be to God he you know by 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 here a bit here a little there a little and being obedient being, being faithful to the word and my testimony um, remaining when when I was grafted in um, the Lord had done many wonderful things in my life so I'd, I want to be just give some encouragement to Hopefully, hopefully embolden somebody to uh, go out and share the word, share the gospel. Or, and that's one of the reasons why I make videos is because, and, and I've called this video "Too Many Chiefs, Not Enough Indians." Because when I was um, learning and growing in the word, and still learning and growing in the word, in my sanctification and all the. All, all the trouble I had when I was first first saved, how easily I was sifted by by the devil and put through a fiery trial, and that trial lasted almost 15 years because I was so broken, and the, uh, and the blessed Lord delivered me from cult system, uh, the Mormon Church, where I was preyed upon by the people who were persecuting me, and as a Christian, you will suffer persecution, you will. You may, you may suffer um, being targeted by people, being put on a list and uh, followed around and beaten up. Um, and f one of the things that really kept me kept me from functioning was fear, uh, fear of uh, many things. And, and one of the things that got me through it to stand up and face my nemesis was just the boldness and, and my faith, putting my trust in the Lord and putting putting my foot forward. And then not being fearful of making a mistake or learning or growing, my confidence was so so broken. And one of the things I come across was, um, and why I do these videos is people who deny that you, who say you can lose your uh, salvation, and then coming across all so many, so many Christian denominations claiming to be uh, believers. And there's a lot of spies. There's too many, too many chiefs, too many pastors. Now I'm not one for the title pastor. It, the, the scripture says, "Call no man rabbi." I have to get my dog. Uh, yeah, the, the the word of God says, "Call no man rabbi," and there's a lot of um, on the internet, especially. I was over when I first got a computer and got on the internet. I was so put off by all, all and not having any confidence in the word of God, how I was uh, so put off and disheartened by it all and um, I stuck with it thanks to God and and the grace of the Lord was always behind me, he's always walking alongside me, encouraging me so never give up, the Lord never never forsakes us, we may turn aside, we may fall down, we may fall inboard but the Lord's always there to pick us up and there's always somebody, there's always somebody praying for people like ourselves and and the Lord grants those prayers and blesses us I mean sometimes you you wonder where the blessings come from I want to just encourage any brother and sister to to remain faithful and to pick themselves back up if they stumble and to do little things and not be afraid of what people think not be afraid of of um, if you're being persecuted or targeted because 
um, in my life, I've seen all, all the people that um, have done some serious targeting, I know the Lord's dealt with. And, uh, you know, praise be to God, it, that, that helped me to rejoice. But you've got to be careful not to um, delight in other suffering and downfall. But to be thankful and pray for them, pray for their souls in love and, and in the Lord's heart and mind, and f be forgiving, and the Lord will um, build you up and and help you to um, go out and live your calling, whatever your calling is, whatever the Lord's called you to do. Um, now my calling is simply what I'm what I'm sharing and sh having the opportunity to grow in the word and share the gospel post tracks through doors or I'm, I'm not going to say to people go out and preach in the streets it's never it's not something I've really done done myself it's not something um, that I believe I'm called to do and so that may not be your calling but but we can do something even if it's little things um, when I was home housebound, I would randomly buy a book of stamps and post gospel tracks and, and just do, do things like that. And, th and I, that built me up and I grew. And keep studying the word and confessing your sins. And understand that you can't lose your salvation. But if you give in, you'll find it harder and more discouraging. And Satan will, will be right all over you. And, and, and he'll do further damage to your already injured, your injuries or your confidence or your testimony that is, is uh, stunted or, or damned by something that's stopping you going out and sharing the gospel. So I just want to encourage people to, who hasn't, hasn't experienced uh, going out with in, in the vineyard in the, and with the Lord and Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit to, to experience that joy and that blessing. But you've got to take that step of faith. You've got to, st you've got to stand up to the storm and put your face to the, to the wind and, and go forward. And that is the only way that I'd have ever learned and grown, by making mistakes. And once I got over that fear of not being afraid to... <laughs> Um, go and do things. That's that's what helped me. Hello there. You be good. You be nice. Be nice. No, 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 no. Good boy. No, 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 no. no. He's not. He's not very good with dogs. No, no, no. He, he was traumatized. We never really had the time. My mom, he was my mum's dog, and he never really had the time or experience. And it's quite sad. So I'd like him to be friendly. And he just doesn't, that's his first reaction. No. That's all right. No, you know, be nice. And well, he, she's really friendly. She doesn't take it to heart at all. Oh, you're a good girl. She's, yeah, she's he, absolutely lovely. Hello, look, see, you've got to be nice. Not eat everything, you see. You know, I mean, she's not bothered at all. Oh, she's lovely. Yeah. He's really old now, it's a shame. There you go, he's a bit more friendly There he is now. a good boy, see, there isn't he? He just doesn't know. He's not had the experience. Yeah. Like, no, 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 don't no, worry, no, 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 no. I don't want him to do it. That's why. Yeah. Well, the only way I stop is if he meets dogs. But some that's people it. don't like it. Yeah, it's it's, it's having the time. My mum took him to dog classes, and the woman was just doing it for money, and she didn't she didn't take any in cons consideration to his individual needs, and it done oh, more I harm than that had him done him more harm yeah. than good. Damage my mum's confidence. I yeah. said, Mum, you don't, you know, you don't need anyone to teach you. It's just no. common sense. I had that with her because she was such a playful and happy yeah. dog. She wanted to play with everybody. Yeah. And the lady didn't help me at all with what to do in that meg, and it was no. just awful. You learn by good. experience, don't you? Yeah, never to go there again. <laughs> yeah. And, my, and another thing, my dad was, my mum would discipline, you know, take him out. He'd be well behaved. We had it with our other dogs, and then my dad would take it out. We'd go out the window. So it's flipping and flopping. Yeah. So to, that's what I've inherited, this little messed up, li little traumatised dog. So it's, it's, right, it's just a case of patience. And yeah. He, he's never going to get over it. No. He's always going to be like it. it. It's just like, you it's know. Just his space. Yeah. If he was younger, it would be easier. But yeah, he's been spoiled as well, yeah. that's why. And he's had too much of it. He's had too much of his own, space, own house yeah. sort of thing. He's been allowed on the bed and the sofa. <laughs> That's why, you know, and everything's his. But uh, it's just one of those things you have to... But she's all right with other dogs. Yeah. I just don't want him to bite anyone or, you know, no. cause any problems. 
I don't think he would. Well, he might. Well, she's <laughs> on the lead now. Yeah. I'd rather known she was at yours no, was no, on no, the lead no, on the no. one earlier. You'd be nice. Nice lead. Nice lead. You're all right, aren't you? You're just frightened. She's a bit down to you, isn't she? Yeah. She is. Come on, then. Anyway, nice to meet you. you. Have a good day. Could I offer you a gospel track? Sorry? Could I offer you a gospel track? Oh, no, thanks. You sure? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not religious. I'm, no, um, I'm fine, thanks. It, it, it's just my testimony of a personal faith in Christ. No no religion, no, no mediator. Fine, okay. Anyway, you, you have a nice have day. Have a good day, anyway. Yeah, thank you. Of a kerfuffle there with uh, my dog. Anyway, that was um, I lost I lost the train of thought. I was at an emergency, <laughs> so I just want to encourage any any brother and sister to uh, rejoice in the fact that we are we're hated by. Um, I was reading, I think it's John 15. Uh, the Lord was saying, in in the Lord we in the spirit we have peace, but in the flesh we have tribulation. And that's so true. The word is so faithful and true. Heavenly Fa Father does answer our prayers. The Lord does intercede for us. And he, and he grants us that which is right. We just have to ask and believe that he's going to answer our prayer. And, and I've had so many tests. I have such a testimony of prayer when I've, I've been... Um, when, I doubt, when I used to doubt my salvation almost every day. And I'd pray just for comfort and that he would answer it. Well, Heavenly Father, I'm not, you know, are these, is this person uh, genuine or is this person, please guide me in my discernment. And he would answer. He would grant all that we ask of him. And w we can rejoice in, in the fact, it can lift us in the fact that we are hated and we are persecuted for Christ's sake. And, and there is too many... Um, other people can put you off by their confidence, the leaving... And uh, that can knock you over, that can keep you down. So don't allow other people's, um, ele you know, being elevated. I'm not, and, and rejoice in those brothers that are exalted and that the Lord's blessing. Pray for those brothers. Don't be jealous or don't, don't be resentful, but be content with what, what you're allotted in life because it's all for the Lord's purpose and glory. And... Though that has helped help me stay on the straight and narrow, and help me grow, and help me help me in the way, and I still wave. I still I still have days when um my confidence is not um, knocked, and I still have moments where I'm being persecuted, and uh, um, my concentration's affected. Uh, I I still have trouble with memory. And I still have many weaknesses, but the Lord's faithful and gracious to help me continue to grow day by day. So I want to leave it there and just give, give my testimony to any, any, any believer that may be struggling and to be, to be emboldened, to, be, to take that step and, and grow in confidence in your Christian walk if that's, if that's something you are, you are struggling to abound with. And the Lord will bless you sevenfold a hundredfold a thousandfold and there's nothing like putting off your own putting off yourself and going out and serving the lord there is nothing like it and once you and if but you can either you can either um waver doing that you can fall back down and struggle and you, you and it's harder to get back up you know every day is a hot is hard you've got to face that Every morning you've got to face the world, you've got to face the adversity. But you've just got to take a positive step, read the scriptures, pray, and then you're on your way. And, and you, that the Lord will build you, the Lord will strengthen you, and the Lord will uh, keep your footsteps from sliding. And if you're a backslider, you're s suffering with a, um, a sinful addiction, the, the Lord will, will help you in that. And I'm not, I, I can't say... Um, every individual affliction is going to be the same because every person is different and everyone has different needs. But to, just to confess and and put it upon you, put put it put all your cares upon Heavenly Father, 
and he will help you, he will answer you and and sanctify you bit by bit in your in your walk. You know, it might not be instant, you might not overcome something instantly, whereas somebody else might, but you mustn't compare with other people. You you've got to work these things out in with with your personal relationship with your 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 Lord and your Heavenly Father and and He's faithful to meet every need that we that we struggle with because his, his concerns are our, our concerns but if we're not um, communicating with him we lose sight of that and we become overshadowed over, over overtaken and beaten up a bit and and um, we can you can just get back up it only takes that step of faith to be restored but if you if you don't take that step of faith you'll be kept down in 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 the, in the hole in in the bottom of the boat. Anyway, I want to leave it there. Leave peace to everybody. Peace to all my brothers and sisters and love. And Maranatha, in the name of our blessed Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Just a quick P.S., brothers and sisters. Um, in in the world, in the in the in the on the internet, in the in the streets, in the towns. Wherever, wherever you get um, so-called believers and ministries and churches, um, I just wanted to add, there's, there is spies who, if, if you're not aware of this, there are spies who, who um, appear that they're Christians. They copy, they, they study out and um, correlate all the information that um, Christians are getting and they will mimic and they will twist the meaning of scripture to throw young believers and put the world off Christianity or a certain doctrine. And then, also, in the mix, you have the believer that's um, apostate, that is um, gone astray and teaching their own interpretation or, or what they believe a point is. So these things have to be measured and you do that by faith and, study and trusting in the words trusting in a faithful translation, the King James Standard Translation, the authorised version of so called, what it's called, it's called the authorised version, it's a standard version, I have a testimony that it's it's God's faithful translation of the Word of God and it's been preserved since the 1600s and it, it's from the faithful text, it's got faithful roots and it's a, it remains a faithful standard, it's reliable and trustworthy and it's a believer's authority to check all things. So I want, just wanted to give that um, last thought of um, that fact so you, that um, believers can measure what, what is of God and what isn't and what is not and to have tr confidence in the Word of God and your faith in the Lord, Heavenly Father, the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And I'll, I'll over and out in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.